Hi everyone, I'm Jennifer. In today's video I'll be showing you how I painted this little painting with acrylics and a bit of colored pencils. Also, I'm very sorry for the ones who are waiting for this kitty drawing video that I promised to upload, but my files went missing, so won't be there, sadly. So I'm sorry for that. Anyway, enjoy. I started by applying a base coat of black acrylic paint. Though this may have been the wrong approach since the white paint didn't really lay on so very well on the gesso board. Probably because it was uh, too smooth of a surface and it didn't really soak in the paint. So it ended up being a bit too thick on top. So it left a bit of ugly brush marks or, well, I just call them skip marks. <laughs> then I just continued to with the airbrush. But I was actually, at this point, ready to trash it, because it was just ugly. But I decided to continue it anyway, because, well, it's a waste of the board. And who knows, I might have been able to squeeze something decent out of it. So I continued. I used a red, a purple, yellow, black and white for the air airbrush background. Then I continued to block in the horse. I masked the horse with a frisket tape, or a frisket film, sorry, <laughs> to uh, be able to just go loosely over the background without having to worry to spare the area of the horse. I used burnt sienna for the blocking color. Then I just used white acrylic to block in the, the highlighted areas of the fur of the horse, because it was quite a shiny horse. But I found white acrylic didn't really work so well on this kind of surface, so I replaced it with white calligraphy ink from Windsor and Newton, and it worked a whole lot better, fortunately. Then I started to block in the shadows with burnt sienna and Van Dyke brown to give a bit more depth to the horse. It actually starts to look like a decent horse now. And then adding some more finer details with a smaller brush and mainly black and white paint. Then when the paint is dry I go over it with color pencil to add more details, or at least the very fine details like the fur and hair. Horses have very short fur, well normally they do anyway, and I'm using a black and a white pencil here from Carondage and Prismacolor to also add a bit more shadow and yeah more contrast. The horse will start to look a bit dull right now color wise but that will be all right i'll just go over it with a couple of glazes later this is just a great way to deepen the shadows a bit and to add extra highlight as well I really like use coloring pencil over acrylic paint. It just works really well. It's a very good combination. And it's a lot easier and quicker to create finer details such as hairs than, than to do it with paint. I'm a bit lazy. <laughs> I 
and you don't have to worry that the pencils damage the paint underneath because it never happened to me that it scraped off or that it made scratch marks or anything. Yeah, it works really well. Just enhancing the lighting here and the shadows and adding some more hairs. Tiny little hairs. I repeat the process of the color pencil on the on the lower part as well. And I usually repeat this process like two or three times on an acrylic painting like this. I was amazed how how well the pencil actually worked on this castle board. I wasn't really expecting much, but yeah, that worked out quite well. Better than a white paint anyway. So yeah, adding some more details and enhancing the shadows a bit more with the black pencil. Now that the pencil bit is done, it's time to bring back a bit more color to the horse. Um, doing this by applying thin layers of paint, they call this glazing. And right now I'm putting a thin glaze of indigo blue over the horse to bring back a bit of the cooler colors of the background. Here I'm using a bit of ochre to enhance the highlights a bit of the dark fur. I make my paint thinner with paint thinner. It makes it very watery, almost like watercolors. Then adding some more detail to the background, some twigs and some leaves and well pretty much using the gla glazing technique. And now I'm just finishing off the picture with the airbrush, softening up some edges, adding a bit more to the background. And yeah, then the picture will be done.